Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to show you some things that I have anti-hauled but I have bought those things and this is seven things I think. Um, yeah, this is seven things I have anti-hauled in my videos but then I have bought them so I think five of these are from my Will I Buy It? And two are from when I had my video in Swedish. So I will leave all the videos down in the descri description if you want to see. And I'm just going to show you the things. So it's two face products and I'm going to start with them. One of them is a highlight from Ofra. And I thought that Ofra was overpriced. I didn't think it was that nice things, but then they came out <laughs> with this glaze donut and I think this is, yeah, this is from a collab with Nikki Tutorials and this highlighter, this is amazing. I don't like the packaging so much, I think it's too big and it's so plasticky. Um, but this is a really good highlighter and it's really, really nice and I bought it after one of my favorite beauty bloggers wrote about this and she did swatches and stuff and when I saw it I was like I need to have it so yeah the next one is the Aurora kit from Anastasia and I said in one anti haul that I will never buy a glow kit from Anastasia and uh, I bought this one and I bought this when I was in store and I swatched this one and I thought it was amazing <laughs> so I decided to buy it. I haven't used it as much. I talked about this palette in five palettes I really wanted, bought but never used. I can leave it up in this corner I think it is. So I haven't used this as much. I want to use it more and I have it now on my makeup table. And not in a drawer so I hope I will use it more but I didn't want an Anastasia glow kit but I bought one and we can talk about another Anastasia product and that is the Modern Renaissance and I also talked about this in my video with five palettes and I have done three looks one palette with this and I also bought this when I have swatched it in stores and mainly it was because of I think it was this Primavera or this Love Letter that made me buy this palette. It's a really good palette. I love the formal of the shadows. They are really creamy and really easy to work with and they blend amazing. I don't know how much I'm going to use this palette. I think I wouldn't have bought it now if I didn't have bought it. I don't remember. I think it was this summer I bought this one. And if it were, I would not buy it again. It is a good palette. I'm not saying that it's not, but it's not a palette for me, if we say so. But I really like it. The formula is amazing and the shadows are so nice. But it's nothing that suits me and what I want, not right now. So it's a really good palette, but it's not 100% me. Then we also have the matte collection from Nabla. In my Will I Buy It, I said that I will buy some of the colors, but not all the colors. But I bought all the colors, mostly because it was such a good bundle price. And also because I know that Nabla has really good shades. And it was a long time since I bought something like this. I usually buy colorful palettes and more warmer palettes and this is not colorful it's not such a warm palette it's mostly co cool shades and i really like this one i am so glad that i decided to buy it i think i maybe will do a free looks one palette with this one as well when i have gone through the five palettes first so if you not know what i'm talking about um, check out the video, five palettes. <laughs> I really wanted both, but not use. And uh, 
these shadows are amazing. Nabla is doing amazing with their single shadows. So I am really glad that I bought this one because it's such good shadows. I really, really love them. Next up, we have a palette that I super love. And I am so happy that I changed my mind. And that is the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. I said that I didn't want this because it's not my typical kind of colors. But this palette is so good and the colors are amazing and I really really love this palette and I bought it when I started to see all the reviews of it and tutorials and then I felt that, like I need to have it and I am so glad <laughs> that I am convinced because this is one of my favorite palettes at the moment even though it looks like this and this is not my typical colors and yeah this is a really, really good palette. The shimmers are amazing, the mattes are amazing. This is a super good palette. Then we have the Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream. And I really bashed this palette when I was talking about it in one of my empty hauls. I said that this was too messy, it was too much blue and purple shade in it. I didn't want it because it looked like chaos, but I don't feel that anymore with this palette. Oh, how is it? I can hold it here, I think. I don't feel that anymore with this and it's not so. It's two blues and two purple and <laughs> this palette is amazing. I am so glad I bought it. I think you can still buy this. You cannot buy it in any store in Sweden, but I think Look Fantastic has this one. I thought it was a super limited edition, but barely not. Um, I decided to buy this one when it was on sale here in Sweden. And I am so glad that I did it. I really like this palette. I have to start using it more. But this Lime Time is one of my absolute favorite shades. It is amazing and I also need to use this palette more. I need to use all my palettes more. This is such a nice palette. I don't mind the chaos in it. I just love it. I am so happy that I bought it. And I love the packaging and I love this square palette. I think that's a little bit more fun. I hate those like super long palettes like the Queen of Hearts from Colored Rain. It's like this long and I can't store it anywhere. I I don't have it there anymore, but it's not a good size, but this size is really, really good. And I really like the front of this palette. I like the background, I like the layering. So this is a really good palette. And the last palette is a palette you didn't know that I had, because I haven't... I don't think my haul is up yet, because I'm waiting on some stuff that I bought on Black Friday, so I don't think my haul for... October and November is up yet but I bought the good sport from Colourpop and this was also when I saw a lot of reviews of it that I decided to buy it and it looks like this and I haven't used this yet it's in my I'm going to use it soon <laughs> pile yes I have a pile like that so this is the good sports palette I wouldn't have bought it if I haven't tried anything from Colourpop or any eyeshadow from Colourpop from before because I know I like the formula and yeah it's going to be so fun to use this. I think I want to start with using like this purple one and this yellowy gold one and yeah I'm looking forward to use this and I think I am pretty happy that I bought it. I have to try it first but yeah I anti haul this but I bought it. So there was some palettes that I first anti hauled but then decided to buy and I think some way it's fun to see how much you can change your mind and it's sometimes you need to see swatches and you need to see reviews from people you trust with the palette to change your mind and maybe sometimes it changed that you don't want it. I don't know if I have stuff that I wanted to buy but I never have bought that I changed my mind about. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's fun to see other people when they have changed their mind about anything and especially when 
they change their mind, mind and they buy something they didn't want but end up loving it like the kaleidoscope dream I'm so so glad that I changed my mind about that and also the Hasina too so this was all for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one and if you like this video please press like and if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss on any of my videos and I will see you in the next one bye